Hey, this is Emily with M Design, and today I want to talk to you about my Wix branded app experience, the pros, the cons, and what I would do differently. So number one, let's talk about the pros of the Wix branded app. Number one, the price. This is a huge deciding factor in whether my clients even launched an app or not, because we had priced out some other apps, and we're talking like ten to thirty thousand dollars to have the app built. Like that's insane. And so we'd also have to hire a whole entire team to do it and have to wait on them for updates. All of that was just way too complex. So when Wix launched their branded app service for like $100 a month, we jumped on it right away. And it's very, very affordable. And next, the next pro is that it's really easy to update. And so all you have to do is open up your Wix owner app and update your Wix app or your branded app and boom, your changes are live to all of your audience. So that's awesome. You don't have to like roll out new updates every single week or anything. Number three, the entire building process was super, super simple. And I believe that anybody could do it if you have access to a smartphone and you already have a Wix website. The cons of the Wix branded app that I experienced were number one, you are limited to your template, which is good and bad. Number one, it's good because mobile device varies from device to device, your app could look different. And so Wix has set up this template that gives you a really good steady structure so that your app looks the same on everyone's device. But some people get a little bit discouraged because they really wanted like this really cool like game feature or they wanted some sort of like countdown tracker that was individualized and personalized for each person. Like, you know, apps that you have on your phone, like you download from the app store that are thirty to forty thousand dollars to build like you they wanted those items in there well at this point you can't really host that kind of thing so like on our website i have this amazing interactive flipbook option for our monthly playbook well wix does not currently support that flipbook automated app it only supports the apps that it supports at the time so i mean there's hundreds of apps that they're working on but right now Basically, you have to stick with the Wix app. So we've got, you know, you can do restaurant bookings, you can do bookings, you can do um, events, groups, online courses. The options are, the options are totally there, and it's awesome. But you are limited to the template and the Wix apps. Another problem that I ran into while building this app was that you cannot sell memberships or pricing plans on the Wix branded app in the Apple Store. This was not stated very clearly when I first started building the app, so I didn't know that it was going to be a problem until it got rejected in review. So what we had to do is we had to create a landing page for the app that had no sort of advertising or marketing marketing language, like join our membership to receive full, full access or get your pricing plan now. We just had to take that completely off, but it's okay because we have a free membership area and if they want to upgrade, all they have to do is go to our website. We have a button on there that says visit our website to upgrade and it goes seamlessly over to our website. They enter in their information, make their account, and then they can log right back into that membership site on the app. So what would I do differently if I would launch another branded app, which I really hope to because it's been an awesome process and a great asset for this client. Number one would be I would split my membership site from my public site right away. There's a lot of reasons to do this, but most of all, it just keeps your membership and your public like advertising site separate. So you can have a lot of great free resources on your advertising site and a lot of great paid resources on your membership site. And it just keeps it really seamless for your viewer, but really separate for you. Another thing I would do differently is instantly just hide all of the shop and pricing plan options. So it's okay if they're on your website that you're turning into an app, but you just wanna make sure that it's hidden off the app when you submit it for review. Which leads me to my third point. If I was going to make another app, I would just make it as simple and basic as possible when I submit it for review because then there's less to review and there's less input that you're going to get from Apple and Google which I mean, you, you can definitely abide by their rules, but the simpler you keep it, the shorter it is to get your app reviewed and submitted to the Apple store and the Google Play store. Another thing that I would do differently is just stay on top of that review process as closely as you possibly can. We waited four weeks for a review once and it's only supposed to take 10 days to two weeks. Well, part of that was because there was some miscommunication between Wix and the Wix branded app team because the Wix branded app team is actually separate from Wix in general. So there was some miscommunication there that, you know, if I would have been more assertive and um, 
kind of the squeaky wheel. I think we could have got it done a lot sooner. So just stay on top of that and just know that there's a lot of different parties working on getting this app done. So make sure that you stay on top of communication and you wanna get that app launched as soon as you possibly can. So do I like the branded app? Yes, I think it's incredible. And I cannot wait to launch more because it's a great asset for my clients. It's awesome, especially if you have like a membership community or you wanna send notifications to your members. You can send push notifications straight to them on a daily basis or whenever you want to. You keep them notified of events. They can you know, engage on your forum. There's just, there's a ton of options. I think it's incredible and the user experience is great. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you are looking to launch a Wix branded app for yourself and you're not sure where to get started, feel free to send me an email at emily at amdesignco.com.